Especially in the plant and execution design, the possible level of detail with Linear Design 3D Pipe and Power in AutoCAD is unmatched. Today, I show this with an example of the installation of shutoff valve in 3D. In this example, I have two copper pipes already prepared. One with a nominal width of 40 and one with 65. Now we will install two valves in these pipes. For this, I choose a suitable manufacturer from our cut libraries. I decide on Viga here and now the linear cut browser opens automatically and shows me the available systems and components. For the smaller pipe I select an easy top slanted seat valve in the appropriate dimension and use the insert function. The linear cut browser is directly connected to AutoCAD or Autodesk Revit and so the command starts automatically. I select the desired pipe and can now position the valve. I confirm the installation position and the valve is installed. Not only the valve is integrated, but also the required transition pieces. In this case, the press fittings are built at the same time. Let's continue with the valve and the larger pipe. So I switch back to the cut browser and in this case, I choose a larger valve with flange. Once again, I select insert and position the valve into the pipe. The dimensional references give me a perfect orientation for exact positioning. The upper dimension reference gives me the distance to the elbow exactly to the end of the pipe including the insertion depth. I therefore use it to determine how long the pipe should be that is between the flange and the elbow. The second dimensional reference measures the distance to the pipe behind the elbow. Based on this information, I can therefore position the components with millimeter precision. I can already determine the axis alignment of the valve during installation using the arrow keys. But we position the valves for now. Here I choose a pipe length behind the flange of 500 millimeters. I will adjust the alignment manually right away. Once again, the valve is integrated into our pipe, including all necessary installation parts. I now want to align both valves downwards and also adjust the installation direction. For this, I use the rotate command of Linear. First, I change the installation direction and then I align the controls downwards. In no time at all, we have both valves aligned as desired. When the valve is positioned in its final place, I can add screws to the flange connection. I start the screws command and select the flanged valve. This can also be done in one step for the whole project or for a specific selection. Now the flange connection is final and we want to take a detailed look at which components were used for this connection. To better illustrate this, I move the individual elements a little bit. In addition to the valve, the counter flange was automatically generated and also a ceiling ring was integrated. You see the screws are also included with all details. Of course, you will also find all components in the material list later on, so you have done your design down to the last screw. More details are not possible. 3D plant design with Linear on Autodesk AutoCAD.